All right, here it is. Camp Hill's meat. That's right. See it? Today's Monday, it is now 12.05. I just got here to the ranch. Still not sure if Jeremy's gonna be able to make it or not. Uh, we'll see how that goes, but uh, I do know this. The grass has already grown way back up high again. We got a lot of rain. Oh yeah. Just so you know. Yeah, we got a lot of rain uh, yesterday. That was good because it was definitely dry out, but um, uh, the grass is high again. So I should take too long to whip it down if we need to um, for some of the activities that are planned. So there's some pretty awesome and exciting things uh, that are going to be happening. Hopefully with, maybe without, I don't know, with Jeremy just yet, but I know tomorrow I'm going to head down to Orlando to pick up the kids, grab Christians and patients, Christian and patients, and uh, get them back here to the camp. But for right now, I got to do this, and I got to get over there, finish cleaning up some of those bushes by the pond. Obviously, I'm not going to get too involved with that today because I got to set something up. I don't know if it's going to happen or not, but we'll see. And if uh, you know what I'm talking about, talking about paintballs maybe uh we might have some paintball wars i don't know they talked about it in one of the lives uh i jumped on light on late so i didn't didn't really get a chance to check in on it but i did rewatch it and so they they uh, were talking about some paintball um playing paintball because Con uh, conky had like five paintball guns maybe from a storage unit or something but um i thought about maybe setting up a paintball course like right here right you know how we'll put a tie a flag on the hawk put put his bucket real high in the air Whoever, got, whoever captures the flag. That, that could be fun. Maybe I should take this to Orlando tomorrow. Hold it out the window. That's what I'm going to do. Tomorrow when I go pick up uh, Christian and Patience, I'm going to drive. Too bad I couldn't film it. I'm going to hold this out the window. Uh -huh. That's what I'm going to do. All right, let's get to work. So my camera's going to fall sideways a lot like that because the tripod's definitely worn out. But um, yeah, walking up to the pond over here. It's nice not to have any bees or hornets. Uh, oh, there's my trash right there. Pick that up. Uh, so hornets over here. So um, that's pretty cool. But yeah, I gotta finish getting this stuff up there on the bonfire. Again, I'm not gonna do a lot right here today. I gotta hold my phone straight. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to go over there and clean up that side right there. So when you're coming down the driveway, you can see over here. Maybe clean up around the, uh, the overhang over there a little bit. Uh, just grab the pole saw, then make a big pile of bushes like that, and then put them on a bigger pile of bushes over there so you have a really big fire. Hey, Mr. Pig. The pond is definitely getting low, which is actually a huge plus for me because we'll be able to get it cleaned up nice. It'll be sweet. Get all the sticks out of there. I'm pretty excited about that. But right now, let's go trim all that is what I was talking about. And you get that trimmed down, leave some of the trees, but we're going to get some of the bushes out. What's up, dude? Hey, you want to watch me work again? There. Oh, let's fix your head. Huh? Well, you can watch the pond. Yeah, so this is what I'm talking about right over here. Um, all this shrubbery, you know, I'll, I'll did that stump out of there too. That's probably what Jeremy ran over with the first bush hog. But yeah, I get all this stuff out of here. Boy, them yellow flies are everywhere. They're, I got that spray on though. So we'll leave this, maybe clean this up a little bit. That look nice. And then I'll uh, just get this shrubbery out right here. Oh, there's a turtle. I like turtles. I swim down to the bottom. Um, You'll see those yellow flies, man. Those yellow flies are gnarly. What I'll do is because nobody will probably come with bug spray. There's probably some here. I just don't know where it's at, but I'll leave this here when I drop patients and Christians off tomorrow um, so that they'll have it as well as uh, anybody else who gets here. Because we got some pretty cool stuff going to be happening on Wednesday. I don't know if it's going to happen or not, though. We'll see. So I'm definitely going to start right here. Gotta knock this shrubbery out and that right there. That'll give us a good good view across the pond that way. Here, one second, I'll show you. So I'm sitting here and I'm hearing people yell. I'm like, there's nobody I should be able to hear yelling. 
And I look up and there's some guy hanging from the cell tower over there. He's not hanging, but you know, he's up there working. That's what he's doing here, I'll show you. There he is. He's up there. Yeah, so that's a job occupation I want Zero to do with. I, I have a friend of mine, a really good friend of mine. Actually, we consider him like family. They're not, uh, welcome to Bristol, or Bristol's Back Baby episode. Um, uh, Vance, Caleb, and Vicky. Some, some, they start off as fans of my freestyle shows when, when uh, Caleb was just a kid. And man, I forgot to call him on his birthday. Caleb, happy birthday. He's belated. Watch out for the yellow flies. But um, yeah, that's what he does now. He, he climbs towers. I'm like, man, you're crazy. You guys like the fast forward mode, right? What if I can fast forward like really fast forward? Pull some of these branches out and uh, see what we got left. Hey, this phone falls sideways. Yeah, so camp hell starts tomorrow once I get back. Ow. Patience and Christian. Still don't know if Jeremy's gonna make it or not. We'll find out. I don't know if I'll make this video um, today. I thought about trying to drop this video today, but I might not be able to. We'll see. Yeah, I definitely need my gloves. Lots of stick outs. Found them. So yeah, that would be cool if they do bring paintballs. That way I built this course and it's not for nothing. If so, it would be fun. If not, it would be fun anyway. Okay, I got branches down there, I gotta get to this. Okay, okay, I'm lacking it. I gotta pull some more shrubbery out of there and get over to that side. Boy, these deer tracks are everywhere. I gotta pick all that up. So as you can see, there's definitely, there's a lot. There's a lot to go on this pond. I'm just trying to get, get a little bit more of a rough draft, just like a little bit more of a visual right here on this side. You get to get some of these shrubbery, take down a little bit more. Clean up around that tree there. And I need the head shimmers to trim those bushes there. It's kind of a pain in the butt with a pole saw.
I will say this, after I get done with all this bushes and shrubbery, we are going to have one hell of a fire for Camp Hales. All right, well, that's the next right there. I gotta see the pond right there. And then the dock, the pond, the palm tree, nice. shot I can't tell maybe maybe not All right, let me clean it where's it at where's it at there it is oh boy a little bit higher view What do you think, Mr. Pig? He's like, yeah, more cleanup to do, bud. No. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the phone down. I'm gonna get to working and uh, get a lot of that cleaned up. I'll show you a little after aftermath. But uh, I wanna start building this paintball course. I think that could be fun. Maybe, I don't know. This is fun too, right? All right, so I, you know, I had to put the camera down, but man, I got a lot of bushes to pick up now. I'm gonna get down there and clean that up too. But uh, yeah, once I clean these bushes up, it's gonna look good. I definitely gotta get that stuff up. There we go. Well, I'll put it on the passenger side, but that way, well, it won't be that. Look at the view over here. Let me get some of that shrubbery picked up. What I use for that? Oh, the claw. The claw. Big advantage having Mr. Hulk smash here. I just realized I'm going to go ahead and get this dang stump out while I'm at it. Oh, yeah. Time for you to go. There we go. Well, I'll put it on the passenger side, but that way, well, it won't be that. Look at the view over here. Let me get some of that shrubbery picked up. What I use for that? Oh, the claw. The claw. Big advantage having Mr. Hulk smash here. I just realized I'm going to go ahead and get this dang stump out while I'm at it. Oh, yeah. Time for you to go. Yeah, that's one bummer about, uh, you know, Jeremy makes it. And, oh, my camera there, man. There. And uh, if he does make it and they gotta take the gator back, luckily there's a lot of stuff around the ranch that I need to do on the tractor because that's gonna be my only transportation. All right, so you see this dump? It's time to dig it out.
was gone. All right, a uh, little bit of debris left to pick up. Still debating on the paintball course. I just don't know, but uh, it won't be too hard to make. So might 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 do that tomorrow with uh, Christian or something. But check this out. Bam! Obviously, there's still a lot more to go, but it's just one step closer. Ain't that right, Mr. Pig? Yeah, so from earlier on when I started, you walked around the pond, you really couldn't see much. But now, got the big stick right here up out of the middle of the pond. That was kind of tough to drag up. I still got some more debris. I'm gonna pull a little bit of this stuff out, put it all on the fire, and then uh, call it a day. But it's getting there, definitely getting there. Well, this is what she looks like now. Just another step close. Yeah, I know I gotta get that piece of trash out of there. The pond goes down lower. See some more stuff in there, but yeah. Got a little bit of a lot more work to do, but you guys get an idea now. So once again, thanks for everybody for putting the comments down below. Do that same stuff right now as all these flies fly around these yellow flies. But um yeah, so we're um cleaning up the pond. We'll get to the dock. I do know that they're not pressure treated. I uh, will paint them, we'll water seal them, we'll do something to them to make sure they will last. However, um, I gotta get back to T-Town. I got to uh, do some stuff there at the house before I um, head to Orlando to get patients and Christian. So, uh, Camp Hells 2.0, it's time. So now coming on into Hales Ranch, you'll be coming on down the driveway. And over here, my friends, is the start of the pond. Well, the pond's there, obviously, but yeah, it's getting there now. Now it's looking a lot better. Oh, wrong way. There it is. What's up, everybody? It is now Tuesday morning. Camp Hells is starting today because I got to get in the truck. I got to swing down to Orlando, but I'm already late. It's two hours to get there. They land an hour and a half, but that's okay because they got a lot of, they got to get their bags and stuff. So, all right, let's go to Orlando. Let's get out of here. Oh, yeah, check it out. Look at my little area. Oh, yeah. First things first, let's get some gas for $5.59 a gallon. Jeez. Anybody need a pallet? Let's look at the back up to this guy. Oh, let's do this. oh he's missing the wheel. Huh. Still waiting on the fill up with gas. I've only put $75 in, had to restart it probably for another $75. If anybody enjoys these gas prices, leave a comment. I've already put 75 in. That's all, all that's we put in there, but uh, looks like I'm gonna have to put another 75 in. Oh, maybe not. There you go. After I put 75 in, put that in again. Jeez. Yes, I want a receipt. I got a good receipt after two busloads of farmers coming, a bunch of the people working the field filling the farms. They're like 60 freaking people. Hey, I wanted to jump on here real quick as I'm heading to, uh, or, oh, I better slow down. Heading to Orlando to grab uh, Patience and Christian. Is um, all the comments from the past couple days from a lot of different videos, I mean, been, tons of them have been coming in. I went through and read them all last night. Unfortunately, I just didn't have time to, to comment back to each one, but I did read every one of them. I gave them a, gave them a heart, uh, including the new ones that are coming in. I'll get to those as well. But everybody, just thanks a lot for throwing the comments in there. And, and please don't be offended if I don't get back to it in a, in a timely manner or if um, I just heart it. You know, I, I want to respond to every single one of you. And it's just, it's just starting to become so much fun. Uh, I just, I just, I just thank you guys so much. Really appreciate you guys. That's how they're gonna find us, or find me, when I get to the airport, which I'm running late, so I better keep going. So 
So patience and cushion have landed. Um, yeah, so I'm still about 20 minutes away from the airport. And then we gotta find them at the airport. If you've never been to OIA, well, Orlando International Airport's MCO, I think is the airport code. Um, it's, it's a big place. I ain't been there in a while, so we'll see. Let's get there. So patience said there at A, pick up number six. That gives you any indication. Let's try and find it. How can people afford to drive that fast? I'm doing 70. Seriously. Now it's even semis. Holy cow, still doing 70. Well, that semi just ran that car out the road. That guy's an idiot. It's a semi sandwich. I'm sandwiched between the semis. I'm just kidding. But I am between the semis. Just a few exits away. Just a few exits away. They haven't been waiting too long, so that's good. It's way better than hanging out there than me just dri driving circles around uh, Orlando International Airport. We got lucky there. That was going that way. Thank goodness. Five miles. Ford Park right over there. We did a show there once before. Pretty fun place. Frontier, I know they're on Frontier. Oh, I'm gonna have to get my, I'm have to get the sign out in a minute. All right, there's a cop in front of us. That's why I'm not filming too much. I got number four out. I got the signs out. Number four, number six. Where, where are they at? Where are they at? Number six. I see number six. Are they there? There they are. I found them. You guys made it! You made it! And then, how long you guys been waiting? Like 20 minutes maybe. Okay, cool. Awesome. So they didn't have to wait too long. It wasn't too late. But uh, we found them. So, all right, off to the off to the ranch. You guys ready? Yeah. I'm ready. Right, I'm ready. Let's not run into this car in front of me. Stop filming, Travis, and drive. So evidently, Christian was touched in TSA, weren't you? I, I was. They, they saw the strings on my pants and thought that maybe like, I don't know, you got, they you were got, a bomb or something. You got strings attached? <laughs> I guess. Man, okay. All right, we're golf kids. So you're not mad at me though for going and you can't go? So here's the deal, there's only five on the boat. There's only five spots on the boat. Let me make sure I'm recording. Okay. Uh, there's only five spots on the boat. Uh, it was iffy if I could go or not. I'm super fortunate. Thank you, Sean, the Sean Goodman, for uh, for stepping up and helping me out, helping me get on that boat. And um, yeah, so unfortunately, you, 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 you don't get to go. <laughs> That's all right, though. You, you're good with it, though, right? Yeah, I get to record. Uh, <laughs> you ain't gonna catch something. I don't think. I don't know. You're gonna catch where that goes? Shark. All right, we're catching a shark. I'm gonna go swimming with the sharks. <laughs> oh man, that's great. Oh, I wonder if we could. Wouldn't that be wild, like just jump in the water with a shark? Yes, I'd be scared. Be wild. I if there's little ones, maybe little ones? They're maybe like little water ones. puppies. I don't know, there's some big ones out there. Water puppies. <laughs> oh, there it goes. There it is. So I was just uh, explaining to, to 
communication with patients as to the, the paintball wars that we're going to possibly be having. So we're going to get to the ranch. We're going to start setting up and making a paintball course because Conky has some paintball guns and and patients wants to shoot them. Yeah, I'm going to get Conky. She's got to get out he's on He's going to get got. Okay, so Conky better watch out. But uh, we're going to get to the ranch. We're going to go set up that paintball course. It's going to be fun, so you guys stick around. All right, quick pitch pop with the kids. We're gonna get some food here at Publix. Publix. You ready, Christian? I'm ready. Patience? We're ready. They're ready. Are you guys ready? We're almost to the ranch. We almost made it there. We got about 40 more minutes to go, but we're gonna get some food first. We need some food. Hey, you know what would sneak? I've always thought about this. Imagine walking through the parking lot and you drop your keys and you drop them in that. Nice. Like oh, I better lock my truck. So yeah, we're gonna head in here. Got some food. I think I'll swim with the red thing on the right instead of the top, but we'll get there. So I've lost patience in Christian here in the store. I'm gonna try and find them. I'm not sure where they went, but they're getting food. <clears throat> patience and Christian are around here somewhere. If we can find them, they're in the store. So let's keep looking. There they are. It's perfect timing. Kids, you guys got enough? I think so. Yes! They got it. We got the goods. Next stop? Well, we're not sure really, but it's supposed to be what the hell's ranch, but you never know. We might get sidetracked. <laughs> I don't know. But so, let's go. So we're just sitting here uh, re uh, discussing the last time these guys were down. You have to scroll down on my videos and go watch the uh, we invade get swamp ranch, I think, and, and the, the thumbnails, them in the back, me and Jeremy in the front. But we were there during the live. You have to go watch that live. And Christian decided he was talked into eating some hot peanuts, which he did very well. He, he took it like a man. He ate the peanuts pretty good. Yeah. But then in the ride home. Which I didn't film because I felt bad for him. How'd it feel? It felt terrible. It felt like death. I felt like my stomach was just like, I don't know, just eating itself uh, or uh, melting. Did, here, let me give you so an example. <laughs> no, he was like this the whole time with his mouth open, then the wind come out. <laughs> Jeremy opens the windows. Here's uh, Christian. Uh, uh, my whole body is completely covered in sweat. <laughs> so I'm like in so pain. Sweat. It was it was pretty it was pretty it funny. Was, was I wanted to film it, but I knew I was like, man, he's, he's probably not feeling good right now. He ate all those peanuts too. <laughs> he got like it was like hot, just right. So one was like hot. He's like, oh, not bad. And then he had to go, oh, not bad. All of them, no problem. He like a champ. An just, later, it was just though. that drive home. <laughs> uh oh, what did I say? Oh, oh 11 miles. You guys ready? We're, We're ready. ready. All right, let's do it. Yes! There we go. I'm so excited to see what the range looks like. It's good. 11 nice. miles. Here we come. The infamous one red light at Otter Creek, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. The big whopping metropolitan, metropolitan, metropolitan town. Look at the anticipation, the excitement almost building. Here. We are almost here. There it is, the infamous Herschel's. Ladies and gentlemen, the infamous post office. I'm sure glad <laughs> that they have the post office here. All right, let's go down here. We're gonna, we're gonna go check out the creek and see if uh, the big gators down here. Usually a lot of people are fishing. Oh, I've seen them. A lot of people are always fishing down here, so that they are, they probably got a spook, but if not, we might, we might see it, I don't know. Let's find out. All right, nobody's, nobody's down there. Let's see. You guys aren't scared to walk over there, are ya? Oh, there's a big old bird. They didn't see nothing last time. Maybe. Oh, it's toasty. Oh, it's definitely warm here. He was over there in that bank. Be careful when you get up close though, because yeah, you don't want that. They will do that. Oh, 
Look that guy is. There he is. Guys, look how big that gator is. That is not a small gator. Oh, let's go look. Let's get closer. Are you ready? Yep. No, that's him right there for sure. All right, we're gonna go. We're gonna try and get close to this gator. I'm telling you, it might be ten foot. Wow. I mean, this thing. Holy cow! Look how look how big that head is on that gator. He's big. Where's that? He's swimming this way. Yeah, he is. Oh. Look at that guy. That's honey ham. Hopefully we'll get a little bit closer. We can get a real good read on that guy. Man, that, wait till you see Allie. Allie's way smaller than that. So I'm going to go up to the top of the road. In the middle of the road. I'm going to see if we can look right down on this guy. Because that is, that is one big gator. Luckily there's not a lot of traffic here. Not a creek. Oh, there he is. That's one big mammy jammy. Look at all the fish down there too. I wish he'd come back up. All right, we're on the ranch. We're about to, we went and checked on Allie. She wasn't there. So if we are here at the ranch. The yellow flies are coming out. Oh, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it now. Oh, Cause they're everywhere. I'm gonna go ahead and load down. So we're here. We're going to uh, set up a paintball course. That's, that's the plan. Conky's bringing the paintballs. Conky better watch out for patience. So I better clean the lens. Oh, the wrong one again. But, uh, I got some ideas. We'll go along. We'll show you that. But we're going to get them settled in the camp and uh, get the AC going inside. And then um, we'll start having fun. Camp Hales 2.0. And I did it again. I filmed it sideways. Oh, look. So here's the carpenter bees. Uh, some people are saying that nest might have been carpenter bees, but I don't think so. I think those, those are hornets. Yep. We are here. Got a paintball course going to set up. We got to turn the AC on. And, uh,. Get ready for camp house. See, the AC's not even on it. It don't even feel that bad in here. Mm -hmm. Alright, you remember this? We're gonna go ahead and get this bad boy going. Cool. They want to run cool. We're gonna drop it down to 68 degrees. Ha ha ha. So that's entertaining. I, I actually haven't seen that yet, but I wonder how many people it's going to, uh, to scare here. That's funny. So we got the AC on. We're gonna try try to start cooling it down. We gotta let it run. Watch out for the snakes in here. Oh, where are you? Right behind you. Oh, oh you try. He's not a spray. Uh, I just saw the snake for the first time a few minutes ago. So <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, it should cool down. Uh, I'll let them get settled in. I'm gonna go do some stuff outside and uh, let's start building this paintball course. Yeah. It's just chilling in the handle. Look at it. <laughs> it's his little house. He's like. Oh, that's a little baby guy, too. Look at him. Oh. There he just popped out. <laughs> it's definitely hot here. Yeah, it is. And I tell you, this grass, it doesn't even seem like I mowed it. It's horrible how tall it is already again. However, we got some other stuff we're gonna do. It's time to get the paintball course started. So, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna find some things. Let me go check the feeder, make sure we got feed first. Still some feed in the feeder, doing good. Fire's looking good. Ranch is looking good, but the grass is long. <laughs> yeah, definitely had to switch hats. It's definitely hot. Okay, so my idea for the paintball course, we have some big giant spools over here. Hmm, let me think about this for a minute. So the thought is this, we're gonna take Hulk, and I think if we put him right out here, let's see what's fair, where's a fair spot? Like right out here in the middle, right? In the wide open? And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna lift the bucket up high and hang a sign from it or something to where, that's the goal, that's what you gotta get to. We gotta, we gotta set the boundaries first. 
this is gonna be fun. All right, so this, let's see, where's a fair? I mean, right down here. All right, so thoughts are, this will be the flag that you gotta capture. All right. So now that I got that up, now we gotta start putting some obstacles around, make sure you got plenty of cover, make sure everybody has a fair advantage point as to not getting shot and getting to the Camp Hill sign. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go start getting some spools. You see a spool right there? We're gonna start placing them out and around different areas. That way you can utilize the trees, uh, the different obstacles, the spools, uh, to try and get to the sign. Camp Hills 2.0. So here are some of the spools I was telling you about. Oh, there's a wasp. Make sure no wasp in this. Okay. Yeah, so we're going to roll these out there. Just to make sure... Not sure where I'm going to place these just yet. I'm just going to put them around. There's still like three more. We got the bucket. All kinds of cool stuff. You got it. You got it. Ah, wherever you end up. Oh, that was good. Alright, so you saw Christian's circus act. I wonder if I could try it. Okay. Oh, they, oh, they're getting hurt. I better stop playing. I'm not no young and like Christian. All right, so we're gonna grab these trash cans and put more obstacles out here to hide behind. Wow. What do you guys think? You guys wanna go exploring the ranch? Yeah. Yeah? Absolutely. All right. Yeah. We're gonna finish another paintball course. As you guys can see, we're getting it going. And then uh, we're gonna go explore.
All right, I think we're good to go. I think we're, I think we're good for some exploration. <laughs> yeah? yeah, I think so. So there's a big bonfire we're gonna have. All kinds of fun about to go down here at Camp Hells 2.0. Paintball course is set up. Now we should get the paintballs and Conky's got one coming, don't he? Patience. Yep, I'm gonna get him. He's gonna, he's gonna get him. <laughs> All right, let's go crank up the gator. Boy, it's hot. It's hot, huh, guys? Yeah. Oh. She's gonna get tan. You're gonna get burnt. You better put some sunscreen on. Oh, I, don't, I don't wear sunscreen. Oof. Be careful. I have some if you want some. So the current situation, oh, that is, that's a good tree for a tree. Yeah. As, uh, we got the paintball course set up. Now we're going to go explore the ranch and have some fun. Maybe we'll drive back up the creek, see if we see a big gator again. I don't know. What do you guys want to do? Leave a comment down below what you guys like to see here at Camp Pels because we got all kinds of fun happening. Some spooky, scary things right around the corner. I'm not going to tell you about that. You guys just got to stay tuned to everybody's channel. So uh, stick around. Christian has an idea. Oh, put your foot on it. Twist. Yep, yep, there you go. That's a fiberglass one too. Those aren't light. Right, no, no, just stay up. Keep your foot on it. Yep, there you go. Oh, here. That's a good one. Get up in the tree and you can hide. She has to go fast. <laughs> could be, it could be, uh, like asking for asking for it though too. It doesn't seem like it's terrible. Let's put it straighter. There. I've been up in my bladders. That was a little bit better. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good idea. Oh, well, so I've been recording the whole time. Nice. So Christian had a cool idea here. Maybe get up in the tree. We don't know just yet. Pond's right there, but you guys ready to go play in a gator? Yeah. Let's go play in a gator. Let's go see if we can find a gator. So what are we gonna go see first? I, don't know. I think you guys go see the finger first. The finger. We get some get some shots of the finger real quick. That's my, that's Mr. Pig. There's Mr. Pig. I found him when I was playing in a pond. Everybody knows it's still here. Wow. It's fine. <laughs> still there. Still there. We gotta do some bush hogging up here for sure. I've always seen us over here. I haven't been here. Hopefully, we don't get stuck, guys. So there's all the, the hog rooting right there. Okay, here's, all right, here's something really scary, is there are a ton of bees in there, and we couldn't find reverse to get out of there. No. Oh. <laughs> we gotta get out of here. Run! <laughs> we're, we're not going forward no more, we're going backwards. I, I've already had my share of dealing with bees here. Oh my oh, goodness. That's scary, boys. If we had to down in that, we'd have probably all got attacked. Oh, wow. <laughs> and I couldn't find reverse. <laughs> I'm like, they're all coming at us, and I can't go in reverse. Oof. All right, so we got Man, that's interesting. Let's try it this way. Oh, that gate's shut. Oh, I'm not sure 
where that goes. But there are beehives over there, like actual bee, like the county put them there. All right, so I was just back here the other day. We're down by the creek. The pigs, are they definitely come in here and rooted all this up. Since I've been here last, I mean, it's ridiculously rooted up. Oh, look over here. All this, none of this was rooted before. So them pigs been coming through here and having a heyday. Look at all that. Wow. So here's the creek bed. Creek bed's dried up right now for sure. I know you guys want to go walk down a creek bed? Yeah. See where it goes? You never know. Dry. Yeah. You'll see all kinds, you never know what kind of fossils you'll find too. So we've come to a bridge. What well, seems to be a bridge? I don't know. Oh this is so where we were. Pipes. The fell in the pond. Oh really? Isn't yeah. this where we so you can see the creek has water in it down here. <laughs> so the creek's definitely picked back up. Definitely more water in it down here. Back to where some water is that. Just not flowing right now. We definitely got some big ones around here. This is so cool. Look how high the creek usually gets, though. Yeah, that's crazy. Here we are, way out in the back of the Hills Plantation Ranch. No, we're not. We're just actually in the back of the Hills Plantation Ranch. Walking down the creek, people. We're walking down the creek. Looking for the pigs. Where are the pigs? Ooh, what is that? Is that another bottle? Yeah, find something. Oh, that is. Let's see. Looks like similar to the one I found before. Oh, it is. It's a Dura glass. That's an older one, I've been told. We'll take that one. Yeah, we might want to go back if we don't have enough spray. It'll start to get taking us away here soon. Oh, a big old spider. Love. I'll make our way back through through the forest to the gator. This tree wanted to grow really bad, huh? <laughs> it's like I'm growing. I might not be growing up, but I'm growing. Think you can do it right there? I don't know. I think you can do it. Let's try the little one first. Don't push too hard. You don't want to snap and fall back down on you. Oh, yeah. Easy. Oh, not a big one. Yeah, be careful. Get ready to run. All right. Okay, go ahead. Don't do that no more. I don't want that to break up there. Well, he's just like me. He's like, no way. I'm totally doing it. Oh, he's got it. You got it. Yeah. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. He pushes over trees no matter where this guy goes. Blaze some trails. We're a little off the beaten path. <laughs> Definitely isn't beaten no more. Hopefully it don't end. Oh no. Let me go this way. Where are we? <laughs> uh, we are currently driving through the woods. Literally driving through the woods. The 
looks like a trail, doesn't it? Yeah. Christian says yeah. We should probably turn around. Well, that is the, that's that's how high it is right next to us. Literally that's how high it is up there. We're just in bushes. We're sitting <laughs> in the middle of the woods. Yep. That's what it's like being in the middle of the woods. In the woods. Oh, I guess we better turn around. We're lost in the woods. So we've been driving all through the woods, end up in the middle of the woods, and look what I just found. Look what we found. I mean. That's a little bicycle dirt bike. One ninety nine. Huh. That's wild. We're back at the bridge. The, the big gator's down. We're gonna go across the street again. We're gonna check him out. He's definitely big. I think we'll be able to see him all, all this time. See him right there? Be still, guys. See how big he is? Wow. Look how happy he is though. He's just a smiling guy. He looks like a dinosaur. 